Hey guys, it's the Brazilian Hot Dog 724, and today we are looking at my LiftMaster Model 395LM remote light control. There is the back, you can see 395LM. I ordered this from eBay um, a couple weeks ago, and I actually just got it yesterday. Um, you can see pretty much how it looks. It plugs in there, got the antenna. So, um,. I'll plug this in here, and I'm just going to be running it off this lamp off of it. Um, I'll just plug it in right down here. Alright, so a couple things. Um, you'll notice when I push this, you'll hear the relay click in there. Uh, this is not the learn button. The learn button is right under there. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but um, I'm gonna just plug the lamp in real quick. Okay, now you can see when I push this, the lamp turns on and off. So, we're gonna go over to how to program this. Um, basically, Learn button is right down where the antenna is. It's exactly the same way as when you program a remote to an opener. I'm going to program my 373LM right here. So what you're going to do is push the learn button. You'll see the light come on. Then push the remote button. When that goes off, it's programmed. Now I can push this and the light turns it on. Now something weird about this, so you just saw that I turned it on with the remote, but the weird thing is I can't turn it off with the remote. You'll see that the learn light isn't even flashing when I push the button, so it's not even acknowledging that this remote's sending a signal. And it's not an issue with the remote, it's an issue with this. I've already popped it open to see if I could figure it out, but I'm not sure, but I just have to come over here and hit that to turn it off, which isn't that big of an issue, but if anybody knows, see, it'll turn on every time with the remote, but not off, but if any of you guys know what the issue is, let me know, um, and then to erase everything, you just push and hold the learn button until that goes out, and now the remote will not work, just pushing that in. And I actually have all my 315 compatible stuff here that I will program to this. And I'll start with my 377LM keypad. Um, so, um, yeah, you can program a code into this to turn the light on. Um, so we'll hit the learn button and then we'll just do one, two, three, one, two, three, four, and then push enter. And then when I push enter again, it'll turn on the light. So, um, just real quick, I'll just push that in and then enter so that it won't know it's a code. And then I push one, two, three, one, two, three, four, enter, and it'll turn on. Now, I did earlier, I was using this, and I did earlier notice there's something weird going on with the keypad here, so... Uh, just a second. Alright, so I just have the setup right next to the lamp here, and you can see something really weird. When I push the button here, when it's set down, sometimes the light will turn off on the 1 or 4, or the enter button. See, it just did it. Oh, no, it didn't. But sometimes, like, it's just really weird. See, it just did it there. So I don't know what's with that, and then if I pick it up, it'll just do it. See, it just did something weird with the 3 button there. But I did notice that. And one more thing with the keypad here. Um, you guys likely know how to set a temporary code to this, um, which I'll just show you guys here. You can't change the code from here, you know. You push 1, 2, 3, 4, pound, and then the new code will just do 4, three, two, one, and then enter. If I push in four, three, maybe four, 
no, four, three, four. Okay, now the keypad's being weird again. Four, three, two, one, and then enter. Um, I suppose I should probably do that. And then enter. Oops. Four, three, two, one. Enter. It won't control it. I still have to push in one, two, three, four. And it'll turn it on. So that's just kind of interesting. Um, we'll do my universal keypad right here. Hold these in until it stops blinking. And then the code, and then the ID for 350 megahertz is 3, so the code is 1, 2, 3, 4. Then hit pound, and the ID is 3, pound again. And now we go over and hit the learn button, and then put in the code 1, 2, 3, 4. And it's programmed now. Push that, and it turns on. And I can push any of the buttons, and it'll trigger it for about 15 seconds there. So um, just wait for this thing to turn off here, and then I'll show you the, working with the code. Uh, this is model G387LM, made in June of 2015. I got this from my garage door company right here. So now pushing one, two, three, four, enter, and the light turns on. Um, next to my 940T, uh, I'm trying to scrape the paint off of this. Uh, I actually started it a while back, and I ended up quitting, so got it halfway, kind of, sort of done. Um, looks kind of bad right now. I might end up just getting a new keypad cover for it, but uh, we'll just program it up here real quick. One, two, three, four, enter. Um, maybe, I guess, just, maybe I have to push in the code. Uh, maybe. One, two, three, four. And the light's not turning out. There it goes. There it go. So now this is programmed. And, um, let's see. I'll do my 371LM. Works. Um, I'll do all three of the buttons on... 895 max. Just grab a little paper clip here and push in on the side. This is hard to do with one hand, so bear with me. Uh, hold on, guys. Alright, and once you got that on, push learn button, then push this twice for 315. Push another button, and now that'll turn it on. Um, I'll just program up the other three buttons right here real quick. Okay, other two are programmed. Gotta turn that off. Um, let's see, I have my 950 CD right here. Program all three buttons. There we go. It can be kind of finicky. If I push and hold the button on this, sometimes it doesn't... Yeah, see, I'm pushing and holding the button that's flashing, but it won't trigger it. I don't know what's up with that. Okay, um, we will do this guy, 139.30498. Um, I already set the other two, this these two buttons to 315. I just didn't set this one to it yet, but you push that in, that's on, hit alarm button, push it once, twice, and third press will turn it on, and I'll just do the other two buttons here. Oh, this is kind of a long video just showing this light control, but it's, um, I just kind of want to show you guys what will and will not work with it. Uh, let's turn that off. So. Um, I'll do my Chamberlain clicker remote. This one, push in that button. Um, learn button. Three presses for 315 megahertz. And pushing that'll turn it on. 
Same thing for the other button. Sorry about the background noise, guys. And that turns it on. Um, I tried setting this to the 315 megahertz genie code, but that did not work. Um, and I'll do my 373 real quick. There it goes. Okay. So, you know, now I have all these programs. One more thing I want to show you guys, and then that's going to be it for this video. Right here I have my home link. Model Focus 371 JCI, made in June of 2013. This went with the home link bridge that was in my garage. And if you notice, when I get right here, push the button, see the light blinks. And if I push in on the learn button, see it turned off. And if I push it again here, um, if this thing will focus, there we go. Turns it on. Well, what's really funny is that I would have thought this to be Security 2.0 since an adapter for Homelink to work with Security 2.0. And I had someone tell me that it's exactly the same as 371 and I tried fresh battery but the remote the range is horrible on this it's got to be right uh, there for it to turn on so and you know my 371 will work from uh, all the way here so I don't know what's um, if this is just made for short range since you're supposed to have it pretty close to the home link to program it but Alright, so this video is at 12 minutes, guys. I'm going to wrap it up here, so thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys this weekend.